Hello, this is How To Bob, and I've got a video here to show you how to change the pull chain switch on a ceiling fan. As you can see here, the pull chain came right out of the switch that turns the light on, and this is a fairly easy fix. So we're going to get started here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, as always, is make sure the power's off. Then I'm going to remove the light bulbs from the light fixture. Now that I have the light bulbs out, I can go ahead and take off the light shades. And there's three little screws that I just unscrew. And then the light shade will pull straight out. Then I just have to repeat the process for the other two remaining lights. And now I'm going to remove the nut that's holding the switch into the light kit. Once I get that done, I can go ahead and remove the light kit. And that's fairly simple. Phillips screwdriver. There's two screws on this particular fan. One on each side. I am going to save the nut that I just took off for reassembly because it matches the fan better than the replacement. And once I get the light kit taken apart, you can see the switch here. It's a two wire switch, which I've already purchased the replacement. But you can also see that there's a wire going up into the ceiling fan housing. So I'm going to have to take off the cover for the ceiling fan so that I can rewire it. And to do that, this particular ceiling fan has three screws holding it together. So I'm going to take all three screws out and that will allow me access to the wiring in the ceiling fan. Okay, now that I've got this part, you can see the wire nut where we will be wiring the new switch into the ceiling fan. So, I've already got the replacement switch purchased. It's just a two-wire fan light switch. You can pick up at any hardware store. And what I'm going to do is just disconnect this wire nut here. Simply unscrew it. And then I'm going to pull the wire down through. This is important. You have to pull the wire down through the light kit. And then when you get the new switch, you also have to feed the wire up through the light kit. Now, as you can see, my new light switch here has two leads. They're both black. It really doesn't matter which place they go. As long as they got a good connection, it won't matter. So I'm going to feed that up through my light kit, the hole. I'm going to make sure the wires are nice and tight and twisted and then simply put it with the wire in the ceiling fan, the one that I just took off with the wire nut. And I'm going to go ahead and reuse that wire nut. There's no reason not to. I'll twist my wires together, and then I'll just reuse that wire nut and tighten it back on there. Okay, now that I've got my wire nut tightened on there, I can go ahead and put the ceiling fan part back. And you'll notice a little notch here that is cut out for the switch, the reversal switch. So if you have one of those, you want to make sure that that little cutout is put right where the switch is. That's the only way that this is going to fit back in. And then I want to reinstall the three screws that I removed for this. Okay, now that I've got my ceiling fan put back together, I can focus on the light kit. And you'll notice that there's three wires all hooked together to the switch with one crimped on wire nut. So for that, I'm going to have to go ahead and cut that off because this wire is going to go right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off. And you want to leave as much wire as possible. So I'm going to cut right at the wire nut and just kind of get that out of the way. And you'll notice that the wires on my old switch were a little bit longer show you right here. They were a little bit longer than the wires on the new switch, so it's going to be a little tight when I go to rewire this back up. Now my next step is to strip the wires that are coming from the light. I'm going to strip those back about a half an inch, and on this particular light kit there are three lights, so there'll be three wires. Your light kit may have four lights, not a big deal. It's wired up the same way. The only difference 
you may have to get a larger wire nut when you put all the wires together if it doesn't fit inside the wire nut because you'll have the four wires or the three wires and the switch wire that all have to go together. Okay, now that I've got all my wires stripped, I'm going to go ahead and twist them all together, all three of my light wires and my switch wire together. Once I get those twisted, I can go ahead and put my wire nut on and get that tightened on there. Okay, now I'm done with the electrical. All I need to do now is install the switch. I'm going to take the nut off there, and then it's going to be a little tight in here because, as I said before, the wires are short, and I want to push the pull chain light switch through the hole in the light kit and once I get it pushed in there I'm going to go ahead and put the nut on the outside. Now what I've done here is I've reused the one that came with the original pull chain because it matches the ceiling fan that I have so I'm going to go ahead and send that up through the pull chain and just tighten it to the light fixture. This will hold the pull chain in place. Okay, now I can reinstall my light kit. Just reverse the process of disassembly. The two Phillips screws, one on either side. Tighten those up. And then I can put my light shades back on. And when you do this, be careful not to tighten the thumb screws too tight because some of these light shades are very, very thin. As you can see in these pictures, they're very thin light shades. And if you tighten them too, too tight with your, your thumb screws, you could crack or damage one of the light shades. Now on this ceiling fan I had a decorative crystal pull chain so what I'm going to do is just take the pull chain from my old switch off and hook it up to the new one here. Just hook it together and I'll have my old crystal decorative pull chain with my new light switch. Okay now all that's left to do is reinstall the light bulbs and try it out. And that's how you replace a pull chain light on a ceiling fan. This is How To Bob. Thanks for watching.